morning, May 5th today. Um, this is our last chapters in 1 Kings, uh, 1 Kings uh, uh, 21 and 22. And um, we see a continuation of, um, of uh, obviously, the story of what's going on and, and uh, the prophet Elijah and, and um, um, really confronting Ahab and, and how he did things. And, and the weird thing is that uh, even though Ahab really didn't realize it, but Elijah was kind of <laughs> his, one of his best friends. Um, but, um, you know, Jezebel, uh, Ahab's wife, was uh, quite, quite the person. Um, if uh, we see the, uh, um, the gods of, of, of Baal, and, and, and if you haven't done much research on it, uh, it's a god of fertility. And, and, and to begin with, it was just like fields and crops and stuff like that, but it actually turned into more of a um, um, kind of a sensual uh, god. And, 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 and it's amazing how, how Satan used, used that tool back then and, and how he uses it even today. He doesn't really create new ways of, of uh, tempting us and pulling us away from, um, from God, but um, he uses different avenues. And, you know, now we don't have necessarily have the, the pagan god of Baal, but uh, we have, uh, you know, movies and music and, and um, you know, different, different things out there that, that uh, try to tempt people away from God and in into those areas, but um, um, Elijah, you know, he prophesied that how how Ahab was going to die and and how uh, Jezebel was going to die and, and 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 it was a it was quite a thing. But um, repentance is the is the key today, as far as um, what I pulled out of Scripture, you know, for Ahab. You know, he got to a point of just ripping, ripping his clothes and, and putting sackcloth and ashes on and, 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 and repenting of what he did. Um, again, not that he didn't have, wasn't going to have consequences, but um, um, Scripture says that, that God wasn't going to lay any calamity on him, but, you know, his, his ancestors. But, um, you know, the simple thing of, of, um, of, of, of him going after his neighbor's um, vineyard and and not getting it and going back and pouting about it and and and, and Jezebel kind of stirring him on to go kill him um, and it still wasn't the you know uh, Ahab's uh, property because even after um, he was dead you know that would have went on to his heirs and but um, you know God was not pleased on how things were going and then uh, Jehoshaphat we we hear him taking over after 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 a while and, and and again you had two different fractions going on in the northern part and in in the southern part and the northern part was israel and in the, the southern part was uh, uh, judea and, and jehoshaphat he comes into it and he's following god you know uh, pretty pretty strongly and and um, so there's a, there's a lot of elements in 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 just these two chapters as far as uh, keeping people's names straight and, and figuring out where they're going but uh, the example uh, to me of Je Je Jezebel and Ahab um, were ones that we can take over into our in our world today and, and, and how people live and, and manipulate and, and, and go after things that are not godly in order to get what, what they what they want or what they think they want. So um, some real good scripture today as far as that. Tomorrow we're going to get into 2 Kings. And obviously uh, the kings are all about kings. Um, and and, and we, we get to study the, uh, the, different, um, the different aspects and the different ways the kings did, uh, did things. And, and we see the ones who, um, you know, were successful and prospered, you know, through God and following his ways. And we see the destruction of the ones who, who didn't. So... Um, um, hopefully you're getting a lot out of the scripture and, and, um, but, um, I just pray that you had a great day today and, and, and tomorrow we're going to figure out again, the, um, condition where we're at as far as the church and, and, and reopening for on Sundays. Um, but again, be praying for that and, and, and be praying for our, our government, our leaders and the people making decisions and, and pray for our people, um, you know that are being affected by this our front front line workers uh, the ones who are out doing um, uh, taking care of things um, for us in the meantime 
Um, so just uh, pray that people stay safe and 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 God blesses them and and uh, may God bless you too today. And I will see you in the morning.